All right, let's uh, start this chat. I'm so nervous. There's nobody in this room and I'm just talking to a camera. Okay, 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 okay. okay. What's up guys? So yes, it's me. The hun was crying the entire night at the Global Citizens Festival. Um, everybody's been asking me, like, hey Gail, what was going on? Beats, are you sharp? Like, what's cooking? So I was like, you know what? Let me just be serious. Let me make a video and explain this whole thing to everybody once. So I make a story time. Okay. So, sharp, right? Me and my cousins wake up. Um, we're like, cool, let's get this thing. Everyone's excited. Everyone's keen. We're drinking broca boost, we're eating breakfast, making sure that our bodies are ready for the day because we know it's about to be a long ass day. So me and my mates have uh, general standing tickets. The rest of my cousins are all uh, seated. Cool, sharp, everything's great. We get onto the car train, uh, to park station, we get to park station. When we get up at park station, yo, we see gang people. That time we're thinking, yo, we're leaving early, we're leaving early. Nope, we were not early. Like there were so many people waiting for buses. So now we're waiting for buses, waiting for buses. Oh, okay. My aunt calls my cousin and she's like, hey, uh, do any of you guys need tickets? So we're like, no, 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 we're all shut. Then a mate of mine asked me for tickets or whatever. So I'm like, no, no, no. I call my aunt and I'm like, yo, like, I've got a mate who needs tickets. And she's like, okay. And I'm like, what ticket is it? She says, nah, it's just one of those, like, general standing, not general standing, one of those uh, back seat ticket things, like, nothing serious. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I guess the person will be happy with whatever I give them. Shut so I tell my mate, hey, yo, 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 go fetch the tickets, go fetch the tickets, like, don't be late, don't be late, otherwise it's child, like, it's gonna be over, it's cool. And uh, my mate's like, shut, 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 thanks, cool. My mate fetches the ticket, he calls me, he's like, yo, I got a ticket, and I was like, oh, wait, what does it say? Does homeboy not say, front zone, standing west, okay, so now I'm hacked, right? I'm definitely hacked, and I'm like, what the flip to Misani? Um, I got general standing, so I'm like, okay, there's no way, it's like, that ticket, other people who have that ticket, like, spent gang cash on buying that front zone west ticket, so I was like, there's no way, I'm gonna stand in general standing, and that ticket I got from my mate is gonna stand in front of me, no ways, not today, Shut. so I'm like, okay, like, it's chilled, um, when you get your work on the swap tickets, like, definitely, even if it means I have to stand alone, and he's like, okay, whatever, Shut. So we go, now I'm in the line, my mate already is only fetching his ticket, you know what I'm saying, from Santon. So I'm like, you, it uh, doesn't look like I'm going to get this ticket based on time, and the line's starting to move. Shut up. The line starts to move, line starts to move. At some point, before like the entrance, before the gates actually open, they separate us, right? So like a group of us gets moved to the side. So now me, I'm thinking, yo, it's okay, like the universe supports me. Um, I'm going to miss out on that front zone race ticket, but something great's going to happen for me. Like everything is going to be sharp. Like don't stress, little, don't stress. Everything's going to be cool, it's going to be good. Now, um, okay, we get separated. So me, I'm thinking, ah, maybe this is that thing they're talking about upgrading people, what, 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 what. Because we're standing by a side where they're going to open the gate and we're going to go through the VIP entrance, even though the VIP is already gone. So now I'm like, yo, 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 like, I'm going to nice, have a great day. Everything's great, everything's great, everything's great. Nah, it's not even that nice, okay? The Oaks come and they're like, yeah, no weapons, no umbrellas, no food, no drinks, just come with yourself, whatever, 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 the whole briefing, shut People count down, they open the gates, and we start to go in. Cool. Now, bear in mind, me and my two mates, okay, I have two general standing tickets, and my one mate has a seated ticket, okay, and she thought she was standing, but it's actually a seated ticket. So we were hacked, 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 hacked. So I'm like, okay, you know, we're gonna make a plan, like somehow we're all gonna stand together, okay? So I got two general standing tickets and one seated ticket. Cool. We go in, they scan, do, 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 we go. Now it's that time to line up, like, Gate K, Gate M, Gate H, whatever the hell, right? So on the general standing ticket, it says, go to Gate M. All right, so everyone general standing is going to Gate M. Now we're walking towards Gate M, all of a sudden, a huge wave of people is walking the other direction. So I'm like, hey, are you general standing? And this hand's like, yeah. And I'm like, isn't Gate M that way? She's like, yeah, it is, but they're saying the gate's not working, they've closed it. Hi, boo, now where must we go? They say Gate G. So I was like, hey, Gate G is too far. Something's not making sense here. The logistics is already stuffing up, and I'm like, wow, it's like, just past 11, the gates have just opened and there's already a mess, but whatever. So we stand in gate K, uh, we make some mates, we laugh. Generally, you know, concert vibes, you start making friends and everything's cool and it's fun. Cool. You don't make friends with people you're trying to push past though, but whatever. <laughs> so, we're standing in the line, cool, they scan, everything's great. Now it's time for armband collection. So you walk in and now we're like closer to the nucleus of the stadium. Alright then. Okay. What was I saying? Oh yeah, we're closer to the nucleus of the stadium, everything's great. So now we're going like, it says, seated tickets that way, uh, 
whatever, stand, general standing this way, front zone west, and all that stuff, because now it's time for armband collection, so we're getting all the accreditation. Shut. So now we're standing in that line, man. Yo, we're standing, we're standing, we're standing. Hey, man, this concert's gonna start, guys. We're standing in this line. There's gang of us in this line. We're standing, we're standing, we're standing. Eventually, we're like, hey, yo, guys, what's going on? And then the guys are like, oh, we don't have armbands. We don't have armbands. What do you mean? This show hasn't even started. They don't have armbands. And now we're hacked. Like, everyone's hacked. Everyone on the line is pissed off. No one is happy. No one is coping, right? So there's just general go on the line. Everyone is hacked. Everyone's shouting. It's just a big mess. I met Nasty's girlfriend. She came and stood next to me. I was shook. Okay, and I wasn't really shook, but like, she was there. We took a selfie and that was cool. Okay, whatever. Um, so, cool. We're standing in the line. Now there's, now people are getting hacked and angry at this group of people. Does this hand not tell us it's not our company who does the armband, so it's not our fault? My sis, we don't care whose fault it is. Number one, when you're working with a group of people for one purpose, even if it's in teams or different companies, you're working for one goal. So, as far as I'm concerned, you guys become one, like, you guys become one unit. You know what I'm saying? So, what do you mean? Like, we don't care whose fault it is. All we're saying is, where are the armbands, and when are we going to go inside? People are hacked, we're hacked, we're hacked, we're hacked. Okay. Then this other guy comes and he shouts, Oh, front zone west. If, you have, if your ticket says front zone west, go this way. If it says front zone east, go this way. If you're general standing, stand here. There are a lot of people who are here who don't need to be waiting here. Nobody's listening to this guy. He has no control of the group of people. He doesn't even have that. What's that thing called? You know that thing that makes the voice sound like this? You know, I forgot what that thing's called. Whatever. Shut up. Okay. Everyone's hacked because we're like, This guy's not even like making sense. No one can hear what he says. So me, I'm like, I, I'm about to shout. I have a loud voice, I know that. I've been told that since I was small. I used to be insecure about it, but now I'm proud of it, you know what I'm saying? So I shout this whole instruction. Everyone's like, oh, fuck, hallelujah. You, I swore. Chai. Okay, everyone's like, oh, damn, hallelujah. So people go, some people go, and we're still standing in the line, standing in the line, standing in the line. Eventually, this other guy comes with a backpack, so we're like, okay, here are these damn armbands, right? Now we're putting pressure on these oaks, and they're panicking. They're panicking because, like, they didn't have armbands. The audience, or the group of us, is like, heck, F. Um, so they like pressurize, they don't know what to do. So what they were supposed to do is, they're supposed to tear your ticket, give you the other half of the ticket back, and then give you an armband. But now because there's pressure and there's people waiting in the line and the concert's about to start, they start panicking. So they let six people into this little room thing at a time. So I'm one of the first group of six. My two mates are still standing outside. So I'm like, okay, let me see what I can do, right? So now I'm like, we're putting pressure on this guy, putting pressure on this guy, putting pressure on this guy. Eventually he decides he's just going to take tickets and give the armbands because he's like, to be honest, they don't need the ticket, like the part of the ticket they were supposed to keep. I wouldn't have minded a souvenir, but it's okay. Um, fine. So now, uh, homeboy is feeling pressure, so people are handing him tickets and stuff. So this is my time. I put that seated ticket at the bottom, and I put two general standing tickets. Do I not get three general standing on pants? Yeah, because I'm so cool. Okay, cool. So I'm happy. And I'm like, yo, you're a success. And I'm like, this is that support I was talking about from the universe, because that I lost that front zone standing ticket, but now I'm going to be with my mates, and everything's going to be great. Cool. What's up guys? We're walking in now. Yeah. Tandy had a seat and ticket and luckily because there was chaos to get armbands, we got her general standing ticket. We're about to have a good day. I told you it was the start to a great day. We walk in, we get there, we suss out the environment like what's cooking, you know, how far is the general standing. We're not too happy about how far it is. It's still pretty empty so we're like, okay, let's get like drinks and stuff like that because once we get there, we don't want to move because people will take our spot or we'll be too far back. Cool. Everything is shut. We get our drinks, everything's cool, and we go to the general standing. Now we're standing there, and we're standing there, we're standing there. My feet are sore, my back is sore already, I'm so over it. That plane flight over, which was really cool, that was, that was bomb. Um, and then everyone comes down. It was really funny though, because the seated audience on the left couldn't see the one minute. So they started counting at one minute and ten seconds, instead of ten seconds, which was funny, but whatever. So Kyle, the proper ten seconds comes. And we start counting 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Trevor Noah comes out, yeah, yeah, that's the boys back home. We're like, yeah, yeah, Trevor, Trevor, everything's great. So he starts the whole thing, everyone's mad keen. Um, Great. Oh, there was that moment of silence in the beginning for the gentleman who was a part of the logistics team of the whole thing and passed away the day before, which was really sad. Um, and there were some people who didn't respect that moment of silence. Like, I don't know how I could ever be friends with people like that. It was really ridiculous. Like, people who were making noise for the sake of making noise because of, like, being quiet. Like, 
if you don't believe in the moment of silence thing, fine, don't pay the respect, like, don't, don't, like, think about stuff or don't put, like, energy towards healing and everything, like, towards people, but just keep quiet and respect everybody else, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, wow, I wonder this Global Citizens chat, like, some of these people here just don't care about other people, but that's fine. That's just me letting off some steam. Anyway, cool. Um, the concert starts. Usher and Black Coffee do their thing. As far as I'm concerned, I didn't like that performance that much. Like, I think Usher's cool, I think Black Coffee's cool. I don't think they should have been put together. I think they could have had their own separate performances that could have been great. But that's fine. Whatever. Let me just check if the camera's still recording. No, oh, great. Okay, the camera's still recording. Shut Um, now, we're standing in the general standing, everything's cool. Um, then, a uh, family friend walks past, and it's Sula, so I'm like, yo, and he's like, hey. So, I know, because I collected his tickets the day before, that he has fun zone tickets. I'm confused why he's in the general standing section. And he's like, nah, dude, like, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna make my way through, don't worry. So I was like, hey, like, you probably need an armband. And he's like, no, 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 I'll get myself through. Then I was like, oh, can you get me through? And he was like, yeah, come, let's go. So I go, but then I'm like, ah, but if all my mates go, like, we're not, it's, we're not all going to get in. So I'm like, ah, let me just let him go and let me choose my mates. Shut up. So then I'm like, but if you get a ticket for me, like, you better just send me a shot, you got to find me. And he's like, cool. Bear in mind, the concert's just started. My battery is basically dead. Okay, 20%. So I turn my phone off because I'm not going home with my friends. I'm going home with my cousins. So I need to be able to get a hold of them at the end, right? Shut up. Um... So now we're standing there, general standing, everything's cool, everything's cool, people are performing. Shoma Joyce was really good. She's she's a very good performer, like I, I actually enjoyed her presence a lot. Anyway, not that I'm any sort of accredited uh, judge of that sort of thing, but I really enjoyed the performance. Cool. So now, uh, what happens? Mm, I'm not sure really what happens. Oh, okay, cool. So we're standing in the line, cool. Now, in front of the general standing, there's this other section of people who are going into that middle zone. So there, I think there was golden circle, then front zone west, front zone east, and then general standing, right? So there's a little pathway for people who are going into golden circle. So I see Tulas and Tolos, so I'm like, hey! And then they're like, Lita! And I'm like, hi! And then they're like, then he opens his fanny pack, okay? And he whoops out a red tag. Sweet! Now I'm like, oh my goodness, if this is for me, I'm going to die. And he's like, yeah. So I was like... Yo, I was shook, guys. I took that tag and I just held it against my chest and I was like, ah, like, please tell me I'm not dreaming. And then they shout my name and they're like, Lita, come. So I'm like, yo, hit it. So I asked my mates if they're cool and they're like, nah, you can go. Shout. So I go. Now I'm like, this is that support I was talking about. This is the universe supporting me. Me, myself, I was being supported by the universe. Do you know what I'm saying? Cool. I find my way, I find my way, I find my way. It gets the golden circle. I see everybody, I see my friends like Gabe, Andre, Bones, Mike, and I'm like, yo, 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 now I'm happy, Lolly, and then, yo, I'm happy, guys, yo, yo, I was happy, yo, I was happy, yo, I was so happy, hey, I was, yo, guys, basically, like, like, this is everything, like, what, like, what's it? like, I started at general standing, do you understand, and now I'm in golden circle, levels, levels, boys, okay, cool, so now, the concerting starts, okay? The band was good. Obviously, you guys want to know what happened for me and Ed Sheeran and what happened with Beyonce. Cool. Um, the band's performance was cool, was great, was fine. I, Oliver, Oliver. Hey, it's nice, it's nice with dancing there. And I'm at the front, front, front against the rail with Lolly and uh, Vuyo. Cool, everything sharp. Then, uh, we're having a great time, we're having a great time, we're having a great time, okay? Pharrell performs. Now that's where my tears actually started. I was having a great time. I was so happy. So I started crying because I was so happy. Like, I was just like, what on earth is this? Like, like, is this really, my, and is this what I'm, like, is this where I'm at, like, for real? And it was just so beautiful. And he's such a pure human being. Like, I just felt mad connected, you know what I'm saying? So that's where the tears started. So now I'm dancing. Yo, snooze. Everything's nice, everything's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he's dancing, everything's cool, we're having a great time, we're having a great time. Uh, people, performances carry on, speeches carry on. Um, and then Ed Sheeran comes on stage. Okay, now let me tell you, I was a big Ed Sheeran fan when I was a lot younger, right? And I actually haven't listened to him in a really long time, like, like properly. Like, I really loved his original, like his first albums, like, 
plus and all of those things, right? I really, really did love them. Like, I know all the lyrics to almost every song on the album. But, but it was, like, in 2014, okay? So I really didn't know, like, that I'm still that hooked to the guy, okay? Great stuff. Um, Homeboy starts with Castle on the Hill. Didn't like that song when it came out. But best believe I sang like that song was my favorite. My favorite song. I sang like, I listen to that song every morning, like, but I don't. But I was just so happy. Shut Then he sang The A-Team. Now that, like, that ripped my heart, guys. Because, like, yeah, that song, guys. Yeah, uh, 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 man. It makes me go through the most. Like, I was crying, like, like, pain out. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of stuff has happened this year, and, you know, it's, it's been a lot this year. And I've had a lot of stuff, like, that I've carried and, like, kept to myself. Um, for the sake of matriculating, getting myself done, uh, not letting things get in the way of, you know, our goals and the things that we need to happen. So, so it's like I got to release all this stuff that I was holding for the whole year. And it was just so nice. Like, I didn't even care, like, I didn't care what people were going to think about me. I just, yo, guys, I was just like, you know what, dude, let me just let this all out. And I really did, and it was beautiful for me. And then he did Bloodstream. Guys, Ed Sheeran is actually just brilliant. Like, he is so, so talented. No dancers, none of that. No backing drum guy, no. He did it all, he put the show on himself. It was just him. Like, hi, people like that just, like, like, some, I wish I could be someone like that where I could just stop the world by just my presence. And that's, that's what he did for me. And that's why I was like, all the way gone. I got to experience emotions. I felt so connected, it was beautiful. And I got his guitar pick. So, shout out to all you haters. I got that guitar pick. No one can disrespect me now, okay. But I'll tell you why no one can disrespect me a bit later. Like now, like there's a level to this. Cool. Um, Oprah's speech was great. Um, Cyril's speech was great. Okay, it's not Cyril. Wow, let me just relax here. Yeah. Our president's speech was great. Um, and cool. Now, Dave comes up to announce B and Jay Z. So. So, I mean, I know Beyonce and Jay-Z are about to perform, right? Like, I know that they're going to perform. But, like, but, yo, like, my response to that, like, to the announcement was, like, I didn't know that they were here. Like, guys, guys, I don't think you understand. Like, I don't think you get it. No, man. So, they're like, my brother and my sister, Beyonce and Jay-Z. So, now I'm screaming, yeah. I'm going wild, I'm going wild. Of African American culture, my brother, my sister, Beyonce and Jay Z. Ting, the visual start, yo, 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 I'm going insane, I'm going insane. The whole thing opens, on the run starts. Now, nah, everything's great. I'm screaming, I'm screaming, I'm screaming, I'm screaming. It's a beautiful time. The, like, the performance is great, guys. Beyonce was in front of me, do you understand? Like, in front of me. Now, the water works. Listen here, yeah, I cried enough tears to save Cape Town from the drought. Like, yeah? <laughs> Yo, if the bouncers were not giving us water and stuff, I was not gonna be the good shit. Like, I was gonna pass away because I was so dehydrated the amount of times I cried. Like, I hadn't eaten since 7.30 in the morning we left, but, but because it was Beyonce and Jay-Z, this year I was on my feet. Yo, yeah, it was great. Cool. So then, um, they perform and stuff. So, for me, the biggest part of that performance was the tribute to my deeps, right? I am the product of the people of the world. I am the product of Africa and her long the cherished dream of a rebirth that can now be realized so that all of her children may play in the sun. Um that was that was good. So she was in the pink dress. Um and she sang Hello with the choir, perfect with Ed Sheeran, and she sang EXO. But EXO for me was like the big thing. Forever, forever. Ooh, baby, daylight's wasting. Daylight's wasting. 
Better kiss me. Before we turn the lights out. Ooh. Nobody, nobody. Right. Like that was, that for me was brilliant. I was, let me just, yo, yo. No, I was, I was gone. And I was crying. So now, Tina and Reggie come and sit in front of us. That's Beyonce's parents, by the way. Um, there's these little, like, step things in front of the rail between the stage and the railing of the golden circle. And they're sitting there. So everyone, she walks past and we're all, like, greeting her and we're all screaming, whatever. So now Beyonce is singing. Like, she, guys, she pointed at me like this and she sang and she smiled. That, for me, I was just like, like, you acknowledge my presence. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, that was, that was beautiful for me, guys. That was so, that was so, so beautiful. Um, cool. So now they're sitting here and I'm looking at this woman, look at her daughter, and it was so beautiful to see. Like, I just sensed so much pride in her, and I think, I don't know, maybe I was reading into things, and maybe I'm really dramatic, but it was like she was looking at her kid like, like, I'm so proud of you, and I didn't ever believe that we'd be where we are. You know? Like, it was just beautiful to see. It was very, very beautiful, and it was emotional, and I really hope that my mom looks at me like that one day. Um, anyway, so I'm watching her sing, and I'm crying, like, absolutely, like, now I'm gone, obviously, as you all saw. Um, and then the people next to me shake me, and they're like, Miss Tina's trying to say hi to you, but you didn't see. So I look and I'm like, oh no, she didn't see me. So then I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying. Then she sees me, guys, and she waves. And then she takes out her phone and she starts recording me. And then like, like not on her story, not in, on her camera roll. Like, that for me was like, when she's at home and she's with her daughter, she's gonna show her daughter and be like, look B, look at what you did to this girl, look at what this girl was going through when she was watching you. And they, they're gonna see me, do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna be me that they're seeing and I'm gonna be in absolute tears. And, and there was another part of me that was like, you know what, like, I know you guys saw me there at the concert and I'm just a fan and whatever, but one day, you guys are gonna see me somewhere else and I'm gonna have made moves and I'm gonna be making this country a better place because I really love this place. And, and you guys are gonna remember. Yo, yo, I was moved guys, I was really, really moved. Um, great, that's the concert experience for me. Um, it was cool. So, a lot of you guys, <laughs> have been having me on Twitter and laughing at me. When I turned on my phone, there was a tweet, and the tweet was, somebody check on this woman, she's been crying all night. And there's a photo of me. Great, okay, so a mate of mine tags me and says, Leeds living her best life. Um, and I see this and I'm like, oh my goodness. And obviously my phone was dead like during the concerts. When I got home and I charged her, I had all these messages from people who I guess were watching on TV and they were like, dude, like, we see you crying. Some people said, I'm crying with you. Um, other people were like, girl, are you okay? Other people sent me pictures of myself. Like, wow, it was ridiculous. So I quoted the tweet and I was like, hi, I'm very fine. Um, and then I said, you know, when you watch someone execute their purpose in life. And that was it. I felt so given to it, that whole, that whole experience for me. I just felt like it was a constant effort of giving. And I was really receiving. I think I've been giving, I give a lot. Um, and sometimes I give to people who aren't necessarily deserving of my giving. But for me, it was very beautiful to really just receive. Um, so yes, it was a beautiful experience for me, guys. Um, so cool, I quoted that tweet and we got like 18k responses to it. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to read you guys some of the comments that people had to say. Uh, okay, someone said you're famous for crying. <laughs> I'll get back to that one. So someone said, so you cried through every single performance, an emotional queen. Um, someone said you're one emotional soul. I really am, guys. I am really emotional. Like, and I don't mind. I think it's so beautiful and pure. Like, like for me, it's like, what's the point of hiding it? Like, hey, man, let me just live my life, you know? Authenticity, it's good. Um... Someone said, new meme alert. Y'all, I heard in PE, they're busy saying that, uh, <laughs> they put a photo of me and they were like, I'm guessing it's my tricks, to think that this time next month we'll be getting results. Um, other people said, babe, we were also worried about you, glad you're very fine. Uh, some other person said, it's Dagami as well, okay? It's Dagami as well as drugs. So I reply and I'm like, I wonder where drugs enter. Then this oak's like, Alcohol includes drugs. Best believe I was sober. I don't need that alcohol to live my life. Like, geez, dude, like, drink if you want to drink, have a great time. But why are you going to judge people about it? I wasn't even drinking, but why are you going to judge people about it? Just, like, relax, man. Um, you're so cute. 
other people were tagging their mates. And then there was this one person hey, I, who was like, um, just saw your Instagram story, you have such a deep voice. What voice were you crying in at the concert? Okay. I didn't reply because I didn't really know what to cry. Like, what voice do you guys cry in? I don't know people crying voices. Like, I don't like wail when I cry. Like, I was singing the songs and stuff and I was crying, but like, I'm not like, or anything, you know? Like, that, that ain't it. Okay, cool. So now, absolutely love this country. Um, a friend of mine asked me a while ago, like, if you could move to any place in the world or to live, like, where would it be? And I really couldn't, like, there's not like, oh yeah, America's cool, New York, whatever, whatever. Like, those are cool places, but I don't think I'd need to live anywhere but here. Like, like, I know everyone's stuffed up in this country, guys. No one is the good, but like, everyone is so beautiful in their mess. Like, yeah, man. I really like this place, and I really do love this place, and it was beautiful for it to perform and honor someone who I care a lot about, Nelson Mandela. Um, and yeah, so I was just, I was really, really moved. Um, and for me, like, I know that the concert was great, and everyone, a lot of people were there for the performances and things like that. Um, I heard that people who were in the seat didn't get to hear much of the speeches, which made me a bit sad. But for me, I think the concert did what it needed to do in the sense that I was so moved and listening to people speak and, you know, listening to the hope and the faith that people have and really seeing people who see the potential in the country, see the potential of the world. Um, and I think there's a lot of hurt in the world and there's a lot of stuff going on. But, like, I need a global citizen. So, like, what does it mean to be a citizen? That was a big thing for me. Like, how do I become an active citizen? And how do I contribute for the well-being of everybody around me, you know? And that was, that, was, that was what the concert brought up for me. And how am I, from now on, going to operate in life such that I contribute to the world, you know? No, I can't change the whole world, like, by myself. No. Obviously not, dude. But, but what is it that I care enough about um, and that concerns me enough, let me say in South Africa specifically for now, um, that I will go to the ends of the earth for. It really made me think about these things and what am I gonna do, you know? How am I gonna, how am I gonna progress? How am I gonna push this country forward? How am I gonna get this country to reach its potential? Who am I gonna bring with me, you know? Um, and that for me, that's what it was. And um, I think, like I said, there's a lot of hurt. And there's a lot of things and everyone has their stuff. Um, but it's like, if I find something that's greater than who I am, all of that stuff will fall away and I'll, like, I don't know how to explain. Like, if I find something that, um... Yo, give me a second. If I recognize something that, I, that I'm so passionate about, if I, if I find that one thing and I really run with it, that'll be enough of a change, you know? I'd need to, like, when I die, no, I don't need to leave the world with everybody knowing my name, but I do want to leave the world knowing that my vision or what I see in the world or what I want for the country is recognized by more than just me. And even if it means those are the people that achieve my vision in the end, but let me ignite it, let me start, let me push, let me run, you know? This is a relay race. Um, and I think I gotta take the baton now and I gotta run with it, you know? And I think everybody has to do that. So I really like, I don't know, drop a comment, let me know what it means to be a citizen to you. But, but for me, it's the aspect of contributing to things that are greater than just myself. Um, and yeah, uh, great, I've spoken to you guys about my experience and I was moved and I want to check the world and I'm motivated and I'm super keen and great, the whole thing was great. Um, now, uh, I don't think it would make any sense for me to not include this in this video. Um, I know I spoke about a beautiful experience and everything was great, but I will not ignore things. So. Cecil Garage. Um, as many of you know, uh, the Uber lounge concept didn't work too well for the collection of people after the concert and things. Um, I guess because there was traffic and there was a backlog of cars, I guess. Um, so then people went to stand at the Cecil Garage because I guess it was the closest like general point that they could put on. And there were a lot of people at the petrol station. And about 30 guys, maybe more than 30, came in and felt that 
it was great and convenient to have so many people there and they took advantage of this and they and they did a lot um, there were girls who were raped people who were mugged people who were stabbed there were gunshots there were people who were dragged um, basically everything Almost everything horrendous happened at the Cecil Petro station. And no police were of any sort of assistance. Um, and then I'm like, we all got together <clears throat> for this concert and we talk about the protection, basic rights of people and like creating a world conducive for children to be free and to, you know, and that's going to happen right after, and nothing's going to be done about it. And when people are being asked what to do, some lady asked someone to help, and the, like a police woman, okay, I guess it might have been JMPD, but nonetheless, someone of that sort of authority to help, and the woman's response was, no, that's not my job. Another man's daughter ran to hide under a truck, and her father had to fetch her from underneath a truck. Nothing was done. And now that people are being called out, Everyone is like, oh no, it's not my job. Oh no, it's not my job. Oh no, it wasn't us. It wasn't us. It wasn't our fault. Oh no, it wasn't a part of, it wasn't inside the section of uh, the stadium. What on earth? How that experience or listening, I wasn't there, so I can't, like, I will never be able to give you guys or to explain to you guys exactly what happened or give you the full experience of it all. Um, but I have people who were close to me who were there, and I've listened to other people who I might not, who I don't know, who were there. And for me, it's just absolutely horrendous. And just hearing about it changed my experience of the whole concert. Um, and I think, you know, someone said, I'm trying to remember who it was, that, um, you know, this whole organization and the concept of the concert and the festival, the biggest thing was, it's time to hold people accountable, it's time to hold politicians accountable, it's time to hold ourselves accountable um, for the things that are happening and to take control, yet no one was willing to take the responsibility for everything that happened. Um, and that was just, that was just damn disappointing. I can't imagine the amount of fear that people who were there were in. Um, but it must, for me, it can only be paralyzing and it can only be tainting to the entire experience. Um, so I really, I really do urge you guys, um, those of you who experienced, who were there at the Cecil, please, please go and find someone who's gonna assist you to deal with everything you experienced. Because the trauma, I don't want it to replay in your life. I don't want it to, to hurt you, to hold you back from experiencing life in its fullness. So I really, really do urge you to find someone to talk to, find someone who can really assist you. Um, like, guys, please, like, yo. And I hope you don't allow anyone to invalidate anything. Because I've also heard some ridiculous stuff like, why did people go wait at the Cecil Petro Station? Why did this, as always, we always ask people why when we don't know what to do with things, which is rubbish. Don't allow anyone to invalidate what you experienced. Um, and yes. Cool. Oh, yes. If there's anything I want you to take from this video, uh, I hope you are inspired to be an active citizen. Um, I hope you express yourself fully in life from now on. Um, and yeah, I just, just, just live life, just celebrate life. I know there's a lot of shit, there's a lot of stuff going on and it's difficult, it's very, very difficult because it starts to feel like there's a lot more bad things than good things, but I, I do hope that you take the time to, to be grateful for the things that happen for you, the people that are around you, um, not to let go of hope, um, because the concert, minus the after experience, really did reignite hope in me. Um, so, yeah man, guys, like, yeah, just be great, live your lives, have fun. It's December, please stay safe. Um, don't do anything that really puts you at harm. Uh, don't do things that put other people at harm. 
drinking and driving, don't do it. It's not about you, but it's about everybody else. If you don't care about yourself, care enough about everyone around you. Um, yes. Okay, guys. Great stuff.